I want to I wanna see if we can help other people out. The quartering seems like an asshole. Okay. So I'm going to be entirely honest. Jeremy, Welcome do not Club. get mad at me for divulging your secret. But do you guys want to do you guys want me to spill some tea? Cuz I will spill some tea right now. If you want to see me spill tea, if you want to see me spill tea, say tea in chat. Say T E E in chat. If you want me to spill tea, I will spill tea right now. I'm going to spill tea about Jeremy. I'm going to spill fucking tea about Jeremy. Okay, hashtag T in chat. Rock dude, by the way, welcome to the sub club. I'm Kyle the Ginger, thanks for 13 months of support. Achilles Heel, 15, thanks for 3 months of support. Duchess the Great, thank you for 45 months of support. Oh, Squeezy O, welcome to the sub club. Scotch M, thanks for 16 months of support. Desert Fox, welcome to the sub club. Delonious One, thanks for 15 months of support. And Hey Dad, Let's Play, thanks for 11 months of support. Appreciate you. So here's the T about Jeremy Hambly. Here's the T about Unsleeved Media. Here is the 100% truth that I know to be a fact. I, I, I'm 98% sure. Jeremy is Welcome not as sub, edgy well. as the character he plays on the internet. Jeremy is not as edgy as the character he plays on the internet. He really isn't. He really isn't. He ramps it up a little bit for his channel. He ramps it up a little bit. Now, is he is he is he far left? Probably not. Is he a really nice guy? Probably not. But he's nowhere near as edgy as as especially when you're talking to him on the phone. Especially when you're talking to him in person. He's not. He's not that. But he 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 plays. He he very he very much ramps it up for YouTube. He very much ramps it up for YouTube. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, it, it's it's all yeah. He he he's being dramatic to make money for dramatic sake. I genuinely, one hundred percent believe that. You like the shirt? Thank you. It's a loot crate exclusive. Thank you. Ultra Black Man two seventeen. Welcome to the sub club. Um, <laughs> TJ Archer is, is is acting like I <laughs> acting like I dropped some crazy bomb. I know that's not big news, but to some people, to some people, like here's the thing, Alex Jones. Why would you say that he's not nice? Um, because in his videos, he doesn't act very nicely sometimes. Sometimes he, he screams at people and calls people names and stuff like that. Sometimes he, you know, I th if, I don't know if you guys watch his more recent videos. His more recent videos are more about news and more about discussing a topic. And I like his more recent stuff than back when he was like shit talking people. He doesn't shit talk as much as he used to. Look, look how different you are online versus in real life. Well, that's the thing. You guys would not know me in real life. You guys wouldn't recognize me in real life. Okay, so who do you, let me see let me see what you guys think. Which version of me do you think is more like me in real life? Do you think it is Twitch? Do you think it is YouTube or do you think it is Twitter? Which version of those three things? Or do you think it's more like me? We saw your interview yesterday. Yeah, and I was hammering up in the interview too, Blinky, of course. Yeah. You think Twitch is more like me? No. Nope. Yeah. YouTube? Nope. Nope. Twitter? Absolutely not Twitter. I say all three combined. Mm. So who I am in real life is not any of those people. Who I am in real life is pretty much none of those people, guys. You wouldn't even know me. I'm a bit of an introvert in real life. I'm I'm pretty quiet in real life. I just kind of sit here and just wait for the day to pass. Sometimes I make like stupid songs up about like, you know, how much I want to die. <laughs> But I just kind of sat around the house. And if I'm not on, if I'm not on like this, yeah, I just kind of sit around the house and don't do anything. You seem introverted in most videos. Yeah, I guess that's a little close. Do you not dissociate in real life all the time, man? It's fucking awful. It's fucking awful, man. So I guess, so a lot of, I see a lot of people who are coming in here. Your girl getting ran by a BBC? I don't have a girl right now. And if you mean my ex-wife, no. I don't know. I, I know she's dating again. I don't know who she's dating again, though. It could be a black guy. Would not would not be likely since she lives in an all-white area of, of Michigan, but I guess it's entirely possible. 
But here's my opinion, and, and Raypox76, I don't know how you feel this way, but once I'm broken up with you, I don't care what you do. I genuinely don't care. If you get fucked up the ass by fucking Hitler, who cares? Who cares? You fuck my best friend. You, 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 you fuck my, I don't care. You fuck my dog. I don't care. Who gives a shit? I'm done with you. <laughs> Haven't you seen her Instagram? Well, the person she's posting with on Instagram is her cousins. I don't, she's definitely not dating her cousin. That would be crazy, right? That's definitely not something that's happening. I'm sure she's dating somebody, though. But who cares? Who cares? Wait, don't say that about Des. I'm saying I don't care who she dates. She can date whoever she wants to. Why would it bother me? We're done with each other. We're not dating anymore. That's not her cousin. It's definitely her cousin, man. Have you started dating again? I tried. Um, I tried at the beginning, right after the divorce, and it was not good. Um, and so occasionally I meet a girl and occasionally we go out and I am sexually active. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't connect. It just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not in a place where I'm ready to trust anybody. I thought the goth girl was your girlfriend. Absolutely not. I was very open about that. I was very open about the fact that we were just friends. Yeah. Where is Dania or Danny? She is, you can find her on Instagram and Twitter, but she's at her home in Springfield. She's in her home in Springfield. Pokemon Go, buy this game. I already got it bought. It's ready. We're just waiting 15 minutes for it to, uh, to open up. So, I don't know if you guys understand what it's like to be... What's wrong? What was wrong with Danny? Two things, and this is this is the number one. Number one, she wasn't interested. Um, she just wanted to be friends. So, obviously, I can't convince a girl who wants to just be friends to, to, to change her mind, obviously. Secondly, I knew that I was going to put her in my videos. I knew I was going to help her build her Instagram. I was going to help her build her Patreon. I can't be dating a girl whose career I'm, I'm involved in because there's a huge balance of power issue there. Now, I'm not saying that I won't ever violate that rule if I meet the right girl, but in this case, it is, it was, it's definitely not worth it. She wasn't interested. But we were still, yeah, she's too young. That's a big part of it too. I would date a 21-year-old. I don't have a problem dating a 21-year-old, but... Yeah, she wasn't interested. So we just wanted to, we decided to be friends. And we knew that right from the beginning before we ever met in person. So did she use you for clout? No. Um, I basically used her for the same thing. I just basically wanted somebody to be in my videos, to stir up some drama, to stir up some bullshit, to get the guys at Sam and Tolkien pissed off, to get the guys over at the low cow forums pissed off, to give them some conspiracy. And I knew at the same time I could build a career with her. Did you try to have sex with her? No. We knew, we knew before we met for the first time, there was never going to be a sexual relationship there. So I knew if I put her in a bunch of videos, people are going to lose their minds. Yeah. Somebody says, I don't have a problem dating a 20 year old. Yeah, no shit. I still, I have no problem dating a supermodel. I will tell you something after having gone out with a few 21 year olds. Let me tell you, let me tell you some shit about 20 and your one year olds. No offense to you guys. How many of you are 21 year olds or younger in chat right now? If you are 21 years young, 21 years old or younger in chat, tell me right now. You dangled the bait. I don't know, man. She's making good money right now on Patreon and Instagram. She's making good money. You are? Okay. I'm going to tell you something about yourself. If you're under the age of 21, I'm going to tell you something about yourself. If you're 21 or on younger, you don't realize this yet. You don't realize this yet, and it's going to make you mad when I tell you this, okay? But please Welcome don't get to too mad. Okay, please don't get too mad. The person that you are at 21 is very different from the person you're going to be when you are 30. The person that you are 30 at 30 is very different from the person you're going to be at 35, and the person that you are at 35 is very different from the person you're going to be at 40. You're going to change so much over just the next five years, much less the next 10 years, Okay. And right now, at 21, you think you know everything, but you know very, very, very little. There's, there's so, so much you haven't uncovered yet, so much you haven't experienced yet, so much you don't know yet. And so dating a 21-year-old girl is difficult because you want to help. You want to help. But a 21-year-old girl thinks she knows everything. So you try to help. 
Case in point, there's this one 21-year-old girl that I was close to, and she came to my house one day, and she was complaining about money. And she made good money. She made a few thousand dollars every month from her job, but she says, I got an overdraft fee from the bank. And I'm like, oh, well, you can turn overdraft off. So let's call your bank and we'll turn off the overdraft on your bank, okay? And then they won't take your money anymore. And she says, yeah, but then they won't pay when I write a bad check. And I'm like, yeah, well, what's your overdraft fee? She's like, it's 35 bucks or 40 bucks. And I'm like, well, why don't you just wait until... Why don't you just wait until you have the money to write the check? She goes, because sometimes it's due and I don't want to pay a late fee. And I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to argue with that. I didn't know how to fix that. You know? And so what I was trying to explain to her is what you should do is wait till you have the money to spend the money. Is this grave goal I'm talking about? No, it's definitely not the grave goal. Um, <laughs> she's actually very financially responsible and she's a chef by trade. She's got a, she's had a decent job being a chef though. Right now I think she's between jobs, but she's making good money off Patreon. Now you guys are really supporting her on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash the grave ghoul and go support her right there. She's doing topless photos and shit on there too. If you ever want to see her topless, that's over available right there on her, um, on her, uh, Instagram or not her Instagram, but on her, uh, Patreon. But she is 21 and she just didn't, she just, so the problem is I tried to solve the problem with her. I tried to solve the problem for her. Does she do porn now? No. She does tasteless. She does tasteful stuff. She does like tasteful stuff. Don't promote that. Oh, and Twitch, is that going to get me in trouble? Am I supposed to, will that get me in trouble? Hey guys, hey Twitch, if I, I didn't know that would get me in trouble. I'm sorry. I didn't know if promoting your 21 plus Patreon was going to get me in trouble. I apologize. So... I apologize. It's just it's just her boobs. So I apologize, Patreon. I, I didn't realize that. Um, but anyway, whipping your tits out is tasteful now. I think so. I think so. I don't have a problem with tits. Do you get do you have a problem with tits? I don't have a problem with tits. But I'm gonna need evidence of the taste topless photos. Well, I mean, you gotta sign up to do that, I guess. Um so anyway, the point that I'm making is I tried to explain to that 21-year-old how to fix the problem, and she's like, I don't want to fix the problem. So, you know, I, that's, there's a lot of difficulty in dating somebody. But, and I will tell you this, dating somebody my age doesn't work either. Here's an actual date I had. Here's an actual conversation I had with an actual date who is 30. She was in her upper 30s, so she's as close to my age as I've had. Um, but we were talking and she's like, so what is it you do for a living? And I'm like, social media. And she's like, the Facebook? And I'm like, no, uh, -uh. no, I don't do Facebook. I do have a Facebook page, but I don't have th the Gotta Facebook. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Um, Hi, buddy. I am it's not the fan. source of what I do. I was wondering if you think playing old games like 360 games would be successful on YouTube or which? I, I mean, it could be, it would be a niche market. It would be a niche market, but yes, you could find viewers who want to do that. Especially, there's plenty of speedrunners out there who play the same game over and over again, older games. So, um, But she's like, the Facebook. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I have a Facebook page. I don't use the Facebook. Um, that's not a big part. And she's like, what do you use? And I'm like, YouTube and Twitch. And she goes, wait, you can make money from YouTube? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you can make money from YouTube. And she's like, how? And I'm like, well, they put advertisements on my videos. Plus, I can, I can market directly to, I can market directly to the customer as well, and they'll pay me, pay me for that. And she goes, so, so, like, you make commercials? And I'm like, well, I guess that's one way to put it. Uh, I don't know. And I'm like, but a lot of my money comes from Twitch as well. And she goes, now what is that? And I'm like, well, you basically stream video games, and I also talk about video games on YouTube. And she literally goes. Oh, you still play video games? Date over. That's, we're done. We're done. <laughs> if you're going to judge me for playing video games, get the fuck, uh, get the fuck out. Yeah. Mm. So. 
Recently had a promising date with a 28-year-old. She was pretty nice. So, I don't know, man. How do you meet people? Plenty of fish. Um, plenty of fish is where I met that girl. Uh, I met people on... Uh, there's a lot of apps. I just tried every different app. I signed up for every app there is. I did every pretty much every app there was. So Some of them worked. Some of them didn't. You know. Wait, you still do things you enjoy? Yeah, no shit. What the fuck, man? Close mine up. We got seven minutes. We got seven minutes. Did you get your penis covered in poop? Then she ate it. What? What does that mean? You need a 40-year-old? Nah, I don't think I'll find that one. Can I date you on Plenty of Fish? Sure. You can date me in real life. Have I talked to Wings since his surgery? Nah. Uh, we Wings doesn't like me very much. I don't know if you know that. I don't think, I don't think Wings likes me very much. So... I don't understand it, so I don't like it. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Also, and I'm going to be... I don't mean to be political here. I don't mean to be political here. But a lot, a lot of the women around here are pretty devoutly Republican. And I don't want to date anybody who's devoutly Republican. I don't really want to date anybody devoutly Democratic. I don't want to date anybody devoutly anything. I, you know, if you're going to talk about politics on our first date, I don't, I'm done. I don't, if you're all in there like, oh, make America great again, Obama was a piece of shit, I'm done with you. If you're like, oh, fucking Trump is a fucking double Hitler, I fucking hate Trump. Oh, okay, I don't, can we not talk about that? The whole reason I want to date is to get away from that. The whole reason I want to date is to get away from that. Have I ever ate ass? Yes, I have eaten ass. I did not like it, and I don't plan to ever do it again. Is Danny Republican? I don't think so. We never talked about politics much. We mostly talked about work. It was mostly a working relationship. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. Hey, Sean Ranklin. How you doing tonight, man? Jake, uh, Nathan, by the way, thanks for the three bucks. What game would you like to play? I wonder what older game, like 360 games, would like you'd like to play. I think someone who just did like a retro gaming channel would work really too well. As or work really well too. Neff one five nine, welcome to the sub club. Glad to have you. Have you ever sucked toes? No, I've never been asked, but I would if I, I would if, I, if somebody asked. So, am I going to date Danny? No, she's not interested. And even if she was, we now have a working relationship. So you can't you can't date somebody you have a working relationship with. I'm trying to help build build her Instagram, build her Patreon for her, so. You can't date somebody you're working with. Your thoughts on Fallout? Fallout 76, not very good. I did not enjoy it. It's a very bland game. Boogie, I think it's going to end up marrying Danny. I don't know. I don't care what he says. It will happen. I don't think so, man. She would have to be interested. She would have to be interested. So that's not going to happen. I need a Ford a new... I and mean, I guess I would have to be interested too, obviously. But a wise old man told me once that everyone has bullshit. It's just a matter how much of it you deal with. Exactly. It's so hard dating young girls. Why don't you date close to your age? Because I'm trying to find somebody in between. I had, like I said, I had a very promising date with this little 28-year-old girl. She was pretty cool. She's a big PlayStation fan and stuff like that. So she was a lot of fun. Um, she's one of the first Asian girls I've ever dated, too. So that was kind of nice. Um, I guess it makes me a little racist, but it was, uh, you know. But, um, but, I think I want somebody, I want somebody who understands what I do for a living and likes what I do for a living and even will support me in what I do for a living. But, but, I want her young, I want her old enough to be mature. I want, I want somebody old enough to be mature. Does that make sense? Self, self-supporting, um, you know, capable, capable of solving their own problems. Someone who plays video games, that'd be pretty great. Switzerland, the legend, thanks for the three bits. Thank you for the bits. Gizmo, thanks for the four bits. We're almost there. Three minutes. How did you become friends with Lacey Green? Uh, we met at VidCon, and I was a big fan of hers back when she was very far left. I would watch all of her videos, um, even though I didn't agree with uh, what she was doing over there. Um, I didn't always agree with what she was saying. And I didn't agree with the way she delivered it sometimes. I always liked watching her videos when they were challenging to me. The same reason I watched Anita Sarkeesian videos. They're challenging to me. I don't always agree with Anita Sarkeesian, but it is really interesting to me. So, uh, I, and then eventually she made the swap over to a more middle-of-the-road approach. And now that she's more centrist, 
that's very appealing to me. So I've been listening to and watching a lot of what she does. The The thing I like most about uh, Lacey Green, though, is how sex positive she is. Because here's what I think. You may not agree, uh, and that's okay if you don't agree with this, but I love sex positive. I, I, I don't I don't agree with pedophilia. I don't agree with um, anything involving animals. I don't agree with anyone that would make someone uh, who, who's unable to consent. And animals and kids obviously cannot consent. And I obviously do not agree with um, anything that does harm to another person. And I honestly don't agree sexually with anything that harms yourself. I don't think you should be cutting off your titties or something like that, right? But that said... All other sex is good. All other sex is good. If no one else is getting harmed, all other sex is good. If a man fucks a man, if a woman fucks a woman, if a man fucks a woman, if two men fuck one woman, if three men fuck three men, if, 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 I don't care. Whatever. I don't care. I, I honestly don't care. Sex is great. Sex is fun. You should have some fun with sex. And that's one of the things I've always liked about Lacey Green's message. And you should explore all kinds of different stuff. And if a guy wants to put his penis into something, do it. And if he wants to put something in his butt, do it. And if he wants to put his own penis in his own butt, do it. And if he wants to suck his own balls, do it. I don't care. If a girl wants to put a dragon dildo up her butthole, I don't care. I don't care. Just do, just do whatever makes you feel good. Just have fun with it, right? And if it brings you some level of pleasure, just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. Before marriage, yeah, Blinky. I don't, you know. <laughs> I'm so confused about this stuff. I just came for the Pokemon, man. Okay, well, we're about to start the game. Oh, it should be unlocked. 